sitting there having conversations with Shug about Pac, you know, because I asked Shug, did he kill Pac? I wanted to know. So tell me, you know, like, did you get him killed? Mm. Like, what's up? You know, we had a long talk about that, and that's why when a person asks me, I'm 100% say, I don't think Shug did it because I asked him myself. I don't want to hear what the media say. Right. I never thought Shug did it either because I ain't going to. I just can't see nobody uh, risking they self getting shot to get somebody else shot. I just don't see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that man didn't have nothing to do with Tupac getting killed at all. Nothing. He didn't have nothing to do with Tupac getting killed. What was the conviction like when he said it? Like, was he, was he upset that you asked him that? Or? I mean, yeah. I mean, he had tears in his eyes. Like, we talked about Tupac. He has Tupac name tatted mm. on him. Tupac is the godfather to his son. Like, you could tell when Afini went up there, Tupac's mom, because they have business to take care of. And Afini went up there, and he was like, you know, if you think I had anything to do with your son murder, if you think I didn't love Pac, then you could just leave right now. And she looked at him and was like, Shug, I know you didn't kill my son. I know you love my son. So they got along then, Shug and Afini. I mean, you have to understand, for business, you ha- you have to have a common ground. Yeah. You know, if you're going to get things done, you have to have a common ground. That's the protocol to business. So whether they got along just to take care of the business or they got along because she genuinely feels that he had nothing to do with her son's murder, I don't know. <laughs> Crooked Eyes, the best in the West Coast. You got Hutchins, the producer. You got FKGs, probably the best female rapper out there. Premium.